Hi, I'm Rob. Hey, Rob. Oh, for I'm God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I had to do something. I, you do have to do something more Fine. and more. Yeah. No, you just go again. No, we were, we were recording. Oh, okay, so hi, I'm Katie. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we have something special for you. <laughs> Would you like to say hi? Hi, <laughs> I'm Kayla. <laughs> and you are watching KR Compares, and we have a very special episode for our 26th episode, which marks six months with Kara Compares, and that is our special guest, our first official guest on the show, Michaela Liu. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Michaela, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm 24, almost 25, oh my god, in a month. Oh, my okay. frontal lobe will be fully developed, <laughs> and I will be a real person uh, for the first time, but uh, I'm an actress from Virginia, but I live in LA, so. Brilliant, and thank you very much for coming on. And when asked what you wanted to try for your first care compares, you suggested to us ramen. Ramen. So, uh, we've chosen four from a much larger variety. What did we choose and why did we choose them? Oh my god, am I going to butcher names now? That's why I do that on That's the okay. regular. I'm Asian. I can't butcher more Asian names. <laughs> All right. Oh, so, so yeah. you're okay. Korean. <laughs> well, you know. okay, wait. So, Shin Ramen is like, what was my college ramen? It's like the best one, and I think... And it just tastes really good. I don't know. Okay. So, yeah. Works for me. That's our baseline. That's our yes. baseline. It's the, yeah. probably the least spiciest one in this one. Yeah, we did go with the, uh, we did choose all the spiciest ramen initially. So that was, uh. That was on you. That was that, on us. That we was we like, like spicy. We didn't, we didn't check with Michaela before we got all the spicy stuff. Just kind of assumed. But, uh. I'm sure. Because I'm Asian. Fine. Well, it says gourmet spicy. So there's some spice. But... Yes. <laughs> it, it'll be fine. And if you haven't seen, this is actually our second episode for ramen. If you haven't seen our first episode, you can check it out up there where we compare top and margin ramen. It'll be there in the post. It's not there right now. I know. I was okay. looking at the help. Oh, is it help? No, it's good. That's why I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. I, You're yeah, welcome. I chose this one. Which Hot got? pepper jajam. Or... I think that's oh, yeah, actually yeah, how it is. <laughs> no, I think that's actually how it is because it's, um, so this is like a. Chinese and Korean like mix. Right on. Okay. Kind of thing. Yeah. I just chose it because it was green. Oh, see, so yeah, I chose it because it, it had two cats. That, oh. That's really the only so reason. So apparently, I chose packaging that. is the way to win people over. I yes. mean, it, honestly, it really is. Because all the other ones are like red. They're very yeah. red. Yes. And then our other two that we have. Uh, gold up. Right. Yeah. Yep. That's the Korean one, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Just because that that's like super popular, and mm -hmm. I have never tried it. And then our final one, which Kate and I have had previously, and I, I find to be actually fantastic, is Indomie. Indomie. Yeah. Me. Goreng? Go Something like that. Uh, yeah, I would say Goreng or Gorong. I don't know. We haven't had the spicy version of this. These are different from the others in that this is actually a dry noodle. Uh, but high hopes for those as well. So we're going to get right into it. Any thoughts before we dive in? China invented noodles. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> We'd get to elaborate on that. Katie knows a little bit more about that. No, I mean, it's true. There's there's a lot of, uh, I was going to say cultural appropriation of various but, uh, foods. But I mean, so there's ramen and then there's also ramyun. So ramyun means it's usually made with the instant noodle. So technically, these are all ramyun. Hmm. Fun fact. There you go. Yeah. All right. I'm going to get to it. Uh, we're not going to show the cooking. We're just going to follow the instructions as closely as possible to each of these packages. We'll describe how we did it. What are we starting with? Which two? Hot diggity dog. We're going to do these. All right. So the Shin and the Indomie. We'll be back in just a moment. And we're back. We have made, we're starting with, what are we starting with? The Bulldog? Is that right? Yes. Two okay. times spicy. Two times spicy. You know there's bowl. actually a three times spicy now? Why do we have a two times spicy if there's a three times spicy? Because they, they, they didn't have it at H Mart at the time. But Fair supposedly enough. that's a new product. Okay. It like says two times spicy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, on the. Oh, yeah, it is two times spicy. Oh. Spicy, I spicy. Mess on that, but yeah. I like the uh, chicken with the toupee yeah, and the bomb. Do you know he has a name? He has a name? He's the official mascot. The official and his mascot. Name is of Hochi. Hochi? Yes, which I tried to find a meaning in several of the things on the interweb, so take that with a grain of salt, said that this means crazy loving person who is very exciting. Cute. That's, that's, that's like a the, lot of 
meaning for a yes. single word. But that's why he's in all those cute little outfits. Like, you know, the corn one, he has like a little sombrero and he's he's got lots of just different looks. That's cute. I approve. Yeah. I mean, it works. I mean, we have another package here with cats on it and that's the only reason yeah. we bought that one. Yes. And their names are Salt and Pepper. Their names are yeah. Salt and Pepper, apparently. Do you know which is which? Like... Yes, it actually it, it puts it on the, the little package. I was going to say, like, Hoji reminds me of Hoochie Daddy. What is, what is that? Hoochie Daddy? Hoochie Daddy? Is that a thing? Is that a term? It's kind of. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Kids these days. Kids. So. <laughs> I'm like, definition at the bottom, like, scroll. <laughs> yeah. She she likes to insert a lot of stuff that I have to do in post-production. Because I don't do that. Because so. she doesn't. So she's like, you should totally do, like, an animated figure of this thing. And I'm like, that sounds like a lot of work. I'm not going to do that. But you, you could. I don't think but you I do could. do it. What? I don't think you do do it. I, I generally don't. Yeah, yeah. Because it sounds like work and I don't want to. So, Cute. but we can hit ourselves a, a thousand subscribers, perhaps I can, because then we'll start getting uh, monetized, and that would be nice. And then we can get better equipment, better gear, better lighting. Anyway, so let's dive yeah, right into this. Yeah, it's super dramatic where it's like, we're going to have this ball duck. <laughs> it's just like super dark. It is, yeah. Yeah, we do kind of <laughs> use uh, kind of some ER, Grey's Anatomy type lighting. But, anything we need to know about ball duck before we dive right in? Um, so it is uh, part of the Samyang... I want to say like empire um i guess they're their food company so the line of balled up noodles has been around since like 2012 and it is a very very popular brand in south korea and that's about it supposedly this is supposed to be super super spicy but i think we kind of tampered it down with a little bit of extra water well it so, did call for eight tablespoons of yeah water. but that just seems so excessive but that is what the package called for so it's exactly what we did they were both cooked for five minutes reserve eight tablespoons of water but even so, it's not even soup. It's just noodle. No, right. yeah, it's yeah. mostly kind of just like a saucy, somewhat dry noodle. And I don't know, I'm curious to see how spicy this is because I think the, the ball duck line of uh, noodles actually, like, was the origin of the spicy noodle challenge that was very popular yeah. a couple of years back. Hmm. It doesn't smell overly spicy. No. But let's give it a try. It's not even angry red. We only have two times, remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna like butcher this with chopsticks as an Asian person. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be. I mean, to be fair, they are quite slippery. They are, but my like auntie growing up used to like scream at me for having really bad hands because I couldn't hold like a pencil correctly, mm. and then she said, "You'll never be able to hold a chopstick." I was like, "You're right, you're right." Yeah, <laughs> hmm. yeah no, my uh, very Italian family was uh, the one that would go to the Asian place and ask for the fork. Oh, so, wow. yeah. Just ask for the chopstick helpers. There you go. The spice is like at the end, you know? Yeah, because at first I was like, hmm, these like are savory. okay. And then it's like slowly heating my tongue. Mm. Okay. This actually tastes quite good. Noodles are a little slippery. But um, <clears throat> yeah, that spice kind of creeps up on you, right? Mm -hmm. That's all I taste. I know this is like a spicy chicken flavor. Yeah, I mean. Uh, but very... it is mostly just like. The spice is like tingling my lips a bit. It's pleasant, but it's kind of like one of those lip plumpers or whatever that mm. are kind of popular. I, 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 the girls would know. I don't know. It's them. usually either like pepper or it's like peppermint. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's one of those camps. Sure. What about the texture? Chewy? Yeah, I mean, I think the noodles have a decent chew, but I'm mostly just so focused on like how slippery they are. What you remember about Shin, because you've had a lot of Shin. First impressions. This is like, well, I feel like I don't cook my noodles this soft. Not that oh. you cooked your noodles, you cooked your noodles to the recipe, yeah. to the instructions. So I guess I when we do, do the Shin proper, thing. according to the packaging. That will be different for me. That, okay, I don't so then you can really proper. compare. Okay. But the noodles are like, softer. Mm -hmm. uh, but like, all I tasted was like a non, like, it was just like, Savory, but not like a specific savory, and then Generally, spice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. No, it's that's true. The spice overtakes it. I mean, but if that's what you're looking for, though, like it's a, a quick ease into the spice. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, not bad. Okay. Next up, we have Samyang hot pepper with salt and pepper, the cats. Yeah, but when I think of oh, salt and pepper, Oh, this is pepper, I... this is salt. This yeah. Is it. Okay. Does that make you just think of the... It's salt the... and pepper? Yeah. Are you, are you old enough to know salt and pepper? Oh, shit. I know push like push okay. it to the limit or we no. have the wrong. No. 
Uh, is that from Corbin Bleu's? Um, no. You know Corbin Bleu's? Yeah, that, he was from High School Musical. Did oh, he? this is way before High School Musical. Yeah. No, it was from the 90s. So it was <clears throat> that push it Salt and Peppa and Spinderella. Who's Spinderella? Uh, uh, look, she, it was a <laughs> she was born in 1990. I was born in 87. So we've got, you know, a little bit more. Are you familiar with Ace of Base? It's, no. a, it's okay. You're not that's missing okay. much. I mean, you're missing a little bit, but that's okay. You guys have your Taylor Swifts and your Zendayas. Zendaya doesn't really sing anymore. I don't, I don't know. She don't... used to, though, yeah. Did yeah. she? Mm-hmm. Oh. Just like a lot of other Disney children. Oh, yeah. yeah. I feel like they kind of make you sing to get more money. I mean, that makes... Yeah. It's a machine. Sense. Yeah. So, Hot Pepper, Sam Yang... But not what? salt and pepper. But not salt and pepper. Yeah. Except for the cats. <laughs> oh, that's so spicy. So you spicier. can see that it is very different in color because this is... Um, it's much darker. Oh, well, because it's a black bean sauce. Ooh. Oh, I love a black bean. I know. I was very excited when you poured in the sauce. I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to look way better. So, so I'm going to take a bite while you uh, tell us about Sam Yang or whatever we know. Oh, so it, so it's the same uh, company. As Baldeck? Yeah. Oh. Oh. So it's just like a different line. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Which I didn't know originally when we picked this out. Um, and fun fact, instant noodles have been around since at least the 60s. That's also because of, like, post-war, mm -hmm. like, food was scarce, trying to figure out ways to kind of stretch food. Because it means cheap, right? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Noodles. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, this is the one that's kind of so it so it is a Korean brand, but this like type of preparation and like using I think the black bean is more Chinese influence. But don't forget that noodles are Chinese across the board. <laughs> Spaghetti. Italians stole them. It's I mean, true. look, it's a compliment. Obviously, we went there. We're like, hey, you know what? This is is actually really good. You know, not as spicy as I would have thought. No. Not spicy at all. Yeah. Um, I feel like I would actually cook this for less than four minutes. Or less than five minutes. Yeah, I agree. It's... Well, because the packaging said five and a half, and I was like, that seems very long. Yeah. Um, I like the sauce a lot, but the noodles, I think, are too chewy. Or, or too 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 soft. So, like almost mm -hmm. gummy? A little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But There is a bit of heat, though, that slowly builds. Hmm. But not not nearly to the same as the no. uh, the bald egg. No, no. It kind of looks like worms and like <laughs> and dirt. You know what I mean? No, it it kind of does. But yeah. it's nice actually because I do I do very much like this this sauce. Mm -hmm. Okay. This just needs something else besides just sauce. What would you put in it besides? Vegetables, so I can feel healthy. That's fair. Like some some green onions. Green onions. Mm, okay. Because I, I think that would that would play off of the dirt. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's like. When you make the little Oreo cookie dirt. Oh, the oh dirt. that's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, that's our first two. We've got two more coming up with our Shin and our Indomie dry noodles. After word from our not sponsors. And we're back with our next two ramen. Uh, first up, we have Shin ramen. The Shin ramen. The OG. Courtesy of Michaela. Thank you for bringing that because I really didn't nice. have any in stock and she wanted to compare Shin and Balzo. What do we know about Shin? It's one of the, if not the number one most popular ramen in South Korea. I actually don't remember any of my fun facts. <laughs> uh, no, it is. It's the best selling instant noodle in South Korea and it has been around since 1986. Um, supposedly since its inception in 1986, they have sold 22 billion bags. That's I can't a lot. fathom how... That is so much noodle. I can't imagine how, like... I've eaten so many of yeah. it. So you're responsible for a, a well, significant like, portion of it. My mom would be like, there's a sale at Kroger. There's a sale at, like, the Chinese store. And she'll buy, like, the packaging. Yeah. And, like, the twelve. One time I went to the airport... And I went through TSA, and I had 10 bags of Shin Ramen in my, like, carry-on, and they had to open it up and be like, why do you have so much ramen? What's uh, wrong? Emergency. And I was like, because I'm a poor person. <laughs> <laughs> I need ramen. 
So I have a sh- I have didn't read it first. Yeah, you're fine. But like even right now I have at least like fifty packs of Shinra when I buy. Oh, that is fantastic. That's, I feel like well, that's Italian some pasta. Yeah, so we have a I mean, ours drawer. is kind of, you know, a little low right now, but so, like half of that cabinet over there is just, just like pasta. And that's when we don't feel like making it by hand. Yes. Have you, have you ever tried, have you ever made your own, like, ramen or pasta or anything like that? No, but I want to make a, do a, well, I'm, I'm going to do a pasta making class <gasps> in Italy next week. So that'll be fun. Well, we can't wait to hear how that yeah, goes. Yeah, I, I, I bet it's going to be a lot of fun. Have you not done one in Italy? I have. No, I, I was there no. studying the language. Oh. So, I mean, well, no, I mean, <laughs> no, not to, no, I was there, I had, I was already taking classes, I wasn't going to tack on another course. Okay. <laughs> well, when we go. Yes. We'll definitely do that. But, so speaking of just always being prepared with ramen, so in South Korea, they average um, about 80 bowls of ramen per person per year, which seems kind of low, but. Actually, that seemed lower than I thought, but that's yeah. still a significant. That's still, but that, that could be contributing to, like, the massive amounts of... Fair enough. All right. Shin ramen is slightly soupier. Oh, yeah. nope. Chopstick down. It is like It's a soup. That's why it's slightly soupier. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Except Go that ahead. we've been talking, so it's... So, before it absorbs too, too much... Are you just going to use the same job? Yeah, we just clean. It's clean. I, we I just, just cleaned. I just cleaned just this clean. one. We knew uh-huh. we were having guests, and so... I just cleaned this. Is it 30 second rolls? Okay. Yes. There you go. Or maybe it's five seconds. Five seconds. seconds. (laughs) All right. So don't eat food off your floor. Got it. (laughs) Okay. I'm like, there we go. Tastes great always. This is a classic taste. Softer. Because I. You don't mm -hmm. cook it as long? No. no. So when you cook it yourself, what do you usually do? I like. It's circle because it's. For soup, so I put it in my little circle bowl, and I just add water, and then I microwave it for like four minutes, and then I take it out, drink some of the water, and then make it soup, and then I like all the like little, like ones that fell off of the mm-hmm. circle, I just put on the top so it's crunchy. Mm. Uh, but I never make the noodles like that's why I do four minutes in the microwave so it still has a little bit of crunch to it. That's, that's good, fair because like... usually when we have made this in the past, it's like it's. It's easily like one minute less. Yeah. Yeah. And this yeah. one like has like little, like little bits of like mushrooms, vegetables. And... Yeah. It, it Which reminds makes you me. Think it's more of a whole meal. Mm-hmm. It does remind me, somewhat of like the cup noodles. No, Don't just say me. That. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like you like kicked your dog. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's fancier cup noodles. Please. I'm not saying anything wrong with that. There's definitely, but there's, there's nuance to the flavor. Mm-hmm. I still think, as even opposed, though we did overcook the noodles, based on the instructions. Yeah, the instructions call for I still think these are one of the better noodles that we've tried today so far. I agree. Mm-hmm. But we've got one more noodle coming up. We have not tried personally. None of us have. Right. Yeah. Um, the dry Indomie Indonesian noodles. Uh, we have not had the spicy version, but we have had the original Katie and I. Um, and they are... Definitely one of my favorites, so we'll see how they compare in just a moment. What do we need to know about Indomie? Dry noodles. So, um, as opposed these to These are Indonesian. Excellent. I think everything else that we've tried has been South, South Korean? All of it? I believe so. All of it? Oh. I believe I so. The, was, was the Bulldog Chinese? No. Or no? Or, no? no? There's some, like, inspired, like, flavors, but no. So, so with all this talk that... that, that China invented these noodles. Where are they? Because we see our noodles in not cheap processed ways. Strong words. I Shots like it. Fired. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but the funniest part is like ramen like was more popularized by Japanese companies. Yep. And we don't have a single Japanese. That's true. One. Maybe it's just because our local yeah. H Mart just like. Yeah, you're at H Mart. Exactly. There you go. That's you know great. what I mean? <laughs> As opposed to where else can we shop for something like this? Ranch ninety nine <laughs> ranch. Ninety nine ranch. Why is it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know. But they but, have cheap meats. Like good? Like good meats. Hmm. What's running up? So we will have to go there. What else we got? Okay, so as I mentioned, this is um, an Indonesian brand. So instant noodles became more popular in probably in Indonesia around like nineteen seventy two. But, um, so the, the name of this 
brand is literally like Indo meaning Indonesian and me meaning noodles. Just means Indonesian noodles. Okay. That's about it. So this particular flavor that we got, which it it need like fried noodle and it came out in 1982 or so something in the 80s. Me goreng? Yes. Wrong? Probably pronounced. So that sorry wrong. that we are pronouncing that wrong. I apologize <laughs> to the Asian community. During AAPI <laughs> month, we are so yeah, sorry. Oh, that's not AAPI month. <laughs> we are so sorry. <laughs> if it helps, I was raised in Virginia. I'm gonna silently eat this now. <laughs> so what do you think? Well, you have to take a bite before I give my opinion. Okay, well, I hand it over. Mm. <laughs> I'm guessing because you're just like not saying anything and you're just eating that it's a good sign. Mm, I forgot nothing. These are supposed to be sweet, oh, hot and spicy, but we will see. Okay. I suppose for me there is a bit of spice. I don't think I don't it's hot. Any spice. I mean, like well, spice in like the sense of like, oh, like mm. not spicy necessarily, just no, like spice. they have flavor. a nice flavor. Yes, mm -hmm. they're not hot. Well, I mean, it, oh yes, in that way. Yeah, I mean, they've actually sat around for about two, three minutes. Oh no, I don't mean temperature. -wise. That too. Um, they feel stickier, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which I kind of like. I think I like it's because it. of the oil packet. Mm. Yeah, probably. Is it chili oil in the packet or just regular? Yeah, oil? there's two different types of oil. There's like a chili oil, and then there's like um. It's not soy, but it's like a darker paste. There's um, two different kinds of just like dry powder seasoning packets as well. Yeah, this this, this one remember, was the most involved with trying to assemble. Yeah, no, I do. The Indomie does actually have a lot more packaging in general inside of it, mm -hmm. um, which I remember from the other stuff. Which I did actually, I between those two, I actually think I prefer the original Indomie noodles actually a little bit better. Just from like a flavor profile? Uh, yeah, very much so. I could see um, that. Because I find them almost irresistible. This is quite good. Hot and spicy. They also have like a barbecue flavor, mm -hmm. I don't think. Weird. I think we bought that. We? I don't think we've tried it yet. We yeah. have an entire... Uh, so have... in addition to our pasta cabinet, we have a ramen cabinet. It's true. We're the same. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, expert opinion, having tried a few of these now, how do you feel about this one? I actually really like it. Right? I think it's really good. It's different. I mean, I feel like this is more of like a noodle dish I would get at a restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. Like I think it has more of a flavor profile in that sense. And I think it's something you would, you would stir fry with. It's less of a soup. You'd stir fry yeah. really nicely if you had some good some vegetables well, to go with it. What I was thinking was like, if it's dry, would you stir fry? But I think this would be really good like in a wok. Mm, and yeah. then add some vegetables. Yeah. Yeah. And chicken. Plus, I think because these are fried in advance, like you can like snack on them just like regular mm -hmm. if you want like a crunchy snack it reminds me of like ramen snacks like yeah. the dry ones yeah. that's what it is yeah all right so we're gonna pick up these just a little bit more and then we'll be and back we'll... in just a moment with our final what oh, i was gonna say our final thoughts our oh. final rankings there you go i don't know final thoughts makes me think of jerry jerry springer do you remember that well i remember jerry springer i absolutely is remember he jerry the springer. one that like brought people along to fight about yeah. their marriages well not something. literally to fight but no yes, but he had like all those like sensationalized um Jerry. theme shows <laughs> but he did I, I don't know if he always had it but like at least in the 80s he had like final thoughts or something have, oh that's right he did right? after you talk about it. he would like yeah, yeah. move and the camera would follow him and he'd be like i'm jerry springer and you is know what sorry is there a crunchy garlic in this mm -hmm. that's why it's good yeah anyway we'll be back in sorry. just a second <laughs> And we're back for our final thoughts on these four problems that we've just tried. Any thoughts going into this? Or do we just want to dive right in and say, this is my favorite, this is my least favorite. Is there anything we hated? Anything that stood out that was memorable? Anything that wasn't memorable at all? Like a completely forgettable? Any ideas? No one. No, no. I like the Indomie. Indomie? I like what that. Were, that you was do? different. Okay. Please. That one just so, was set apart because it wasn't as, it was a dry noodle. So that's also why, it was also the most recent one that we tried. Yes. So. Now, you really wanted to compare the Baldock to the Shin initially. How mm. did you feel about the Baldock versus the Shin? Well, I like the flavoring on the Baldock. Yeah. My only thing was like the spice, I feel like overtook that one. Okay. And then it wasn't as enjoyable. Yeah, I think this um, was definitely the spiciest spice by a good market. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was good, but I didn't finish it because I was like, ugh. I don't want my stomach to hurt. We're eating more spicy ramen. 
Fair enough. So, I mean, would I ever buy that? No. Not the two times. Would you try the original, the non two times spicy? <laughs> we did another video, maybe. <laughs> okay, so we got that coming up at some point. Possibly. So this sounds I'll like try all their your least favorite. Is that accurate to say? <laughs> yeah. Your least favorite. Uh, Katie, how do you... I mean, it was enjoyable. I, It's fine, but it was spicy for the sake of being spicy. That's fair. Yeah. Okay. But I think when, you, when you're going with that, something that says know... 2x spicy, that's what no, you're looking for. No, I mean, yeah. true, but I would have liked just a little bit more of like flavor nuance that's mm -hmm. under it. Because if I just wanted that, do you know that they also sell like a hot sauce that is just the bulldog... Spice. I do know that you just said that. Yes. Mm. So I, I'd be interested. If, if yeah. that's really what I was like having a hankering for, I would just be like, okay, I'll let me buy this thing and whatever. But, but I'm wondering, do, I don't know if you know the history of it, but like, did they start doing the two times, three times spicy because I think they it's just been very popular. Because yeah. they were like, let's do a challenge mm -hmm. to be able to buy our stuff and market it that way. I, can I see don't that. imagine that because like... A, I mean, with the advent of things like hot well, ones, for example, right? Well, because you have these, but then, you know, traditionally, Ramyun's also, like, has, like, American cheese on it or something. Yeah, it's a thing. So, having some kind of a <laughs> cheese with the noodles and the spice, it actually cuts some of it. So, yeah. maybe it, like, And that would make some amount of sense, I creamier guess. Creamier or whatever. Well, because the <laughs> Poldock also has, like, a carbonara version. They have, like, yeah, I, I know. I feel like I have heard about that. I've heard of it. I haven't tried it. But it seems like, you know... If you haven't, go ahead and check out our pasta sauce episode up there in which we tell you to stop buying pasta sauce. What does because that have to do with it? You said carbonara. Yeah, it oh. too much sugar in it. Oh, man. Watch that oh, episode. It's, it's so terrible. Mm. It's If you want to see horrible reactions out of us. And then also we have a one minute video about how to make your own at home. It's super easy. But that's unrelated. Yes. Shameless plug. But anyway, what I'm just saying is like <laughs> maybe they think, hey, you're going to kind of doctor these up and you can add some more of the flavorings or like to your liking. But if you're just having it like that, I, I just wanted just a little bit more complexity. Fair enough. Okay. Now, for my expert, we've got these three. Indomie, of course, being a little bit different, so the category might not be appropriate necessarily. But we've got our Samyang and our Shin. How do these rank? You had your black bean sauce with this, and then you had classic <laughs> flavor. And you don't have to necessarily like, you know, like, oh, this one is definitely better. You know, perhaps there's moods, there's moments. Well, this when one's you... still better. There it is. <laughs> because this was, like, good, but it wasn't, like, memorable to me. I feel yeah. like I love black bean sauce, but I only like black bean sauce, like, when I make mapo tofu or when I make, like, mm -hmm. fish, like a black bean, you know? Yeah, okay. makes sense. Um, but with the noodles, just with noodles by itself, eh. Fair enough. And as far as the Indomie? I know, I like them both. <laughs> they're both really good. They're very different too. They are, they are extremely different, Sushi. yes. Excellent. Okay. So in terms of taking this, and now we've established that you don't just take it out of the package and cook it the way it's intended, according to the package. No. You actually have your own method. So Who reads directions anymore? Thank you. <laughs> but... What else can At we do? At least for the first time I try it with the directions and then I say, oh no, this is terrible. And then, and then you do it yourself. Different. But so you've been making this for a long time. Yeah. So what do you do different with yours? Is there anything you would add, a way you would doctor it up? Um, we've mentioned in the past um, a bit of lime juice we find for like a super noodle actually gives it a lot more tang, uh, a little bit more flavor. Would you add lime juice to shin? I, th we I would. I have. Oh. Yeah. 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 I'm like thinking in my mind, I'm like, do Asians know not, lime juice? Like, is that a thing? It's, it's not a lot. Food? Just a couple drops or like half a teaspoon is all you need. Yeah. Real lime juice or fake lime juice? Uh, the stuff in a little plastic container you get yeah. in the store. Okay, hot. Yeah. yeah. That would mean we're economical. Yeah. We'll um, <laughs> but anyway, I find it does add, it adds something. That's actually the most important thing I think to, for, for us to add. Because mm. um, it adds, it just pulls out more of that flavor, gives it a just a bit well, more it just complexity. makes it a little brighter. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, and then, of course, you've got things like bok choy, yeah. a, a jammy egg um, added in there. You I could even put, like, corn because it has, like, a little bit. Of... You could. I don't like corn. That's why I made that face. That's fair. <laughs> I put tofu. Tofu? Okay. We've done do you, that. do you, yeah. how do you, what do you, how do you prefer your tofu? Are we talking firm tofu? Do you sear it before you put it in or you just drop it right in? I'm, like, lazy if I'm going to be making ramen. So I just get like the extra firm tofu and I cut it up and I just toss it. Toss in. it right in. And I just eat and it. And it absorbs a lot of the flavor. Right yeah, now. it yeah. absorbs it. Okay. I have eaten tofu like raw dog tofu recently, like not putting it on the stove or not putting any flavoring. I was like, this is pretty good. Like it's like white rice when you eat raw dog white rice. Interesting. But then I was like, oh my tummy doesn't like this. Oh, <laughs> that's fair. Okay, interesting. Any other thoughts? <laughs> 
on ramen. It's a yummy hangover meal. Or it's a yummy meal in general. I mean, yeah. It got me through co- ramen. Got me through college. Ramen got me through college. Exactly. So we've talked a lot about this stuff, but we know very little bit about Michaela. I didn't get so, to hear your opinions. Oh, we, I actually agreed with your your I mean, ranking. So I I liked the black bean one because it was a little bit different and I, it stood out for me. So texture wise, like for the sauce, yes, that one I think is one of my more favorite. Yes, but I would have to doctor it up a lot just so that it actually like. I feel like green onion would go really well with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But just more, I feel like the sauce was so thick, it just needed like other things in it. Yes. Yes. Kind of lessen that. Yes, agreed. So, what are you working on? Or what's (laughs) next for Michaela, the actress? Um, what's next? Do you have anything? Hopefully a role. There you go. (laughs) Hopefully a gig. Where can we find you? Um, I'm on Instagram at Michaela. So it's M I K A Y L E three R's. But not like three R's, just like R R R. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I got you. You'll uh, you'll I'll have you text that to me, and we'll make sure it appears nice and clearly down here. Yeah. And as always, you can find us at Carrot Compares on Instagram and at www.rjpfilms.com forward slash Carrot Compares. Thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed yourself Thank for our you. very first guest. And we'll probably, absolutely, we'll try to bring you on again. So, folks, let me know what you thought of our first guest appearance. And maybe next time, if we get more guests, we'll get a third chair. <laughs> Dreaming so, big. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, you're... Sh- <laughs> you were going to say, hey, we're at the same time. <laughs> you're you sure enough that they probably thought you were in a chair? I'm Rob. And I'm Katie. And I'm Michaela. Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you next time. Wait. Ching, ching. Salud. <laughs>